Welcome to everyone to a new video tutorial. Um, my name is Attila Alonso. I'm working as a product engineer at the Intesis for the air conditioning interfaces. And today we are going to see how to use the new Intesis um, ETS APP, which uh, is proposed to uh, upgrade the firmware of the new Intesis Kinect gateways. Okay. So okay, let's have a look. That will be uh, very quickly. But uh, before uh, before showing how the ETS APP works, mm, just make sure that you have uh, already installed the ETS APP. Okay. Uh, basically, this uh, APP maybe you can find it in the in mykinex.org as any other ETS app, and as you may know. Uh, an ETS dongle, license dongle, is uh, required to use any ETS APP. So, okay, make sure you have uh, all this stuff bef ready before uh, before using the tool. Okay, so uh, in this video, I will update uh, my Fujitsu A conditioning interface. I have included two devices in the project and some different ones here. Um, okay, I will start the ETS app. And the first thing when you open the ETS app, it will uh, connect to our server. Okay, so now it's working in the online mode because I'm connected to the internet. And it has take, it took the product and the version available from the server. Okay, at this moment only one product and version are available. Uh, in the future, if if you need to know which is your product, just simply click on it, come here to the information, and check the order number. Okay, the order number must be the same here. Okay, otherwise, they will not be uh, imported in this uh, working area. A different way to uh, select the product and version would be using a, a file, okay, that uh, we may provide you. So, simple. Uh, look for the file and import it in the tool using this button. Okay, as you can see now, the version changed because this uh, firmware belongs to a previous version. But uh, I'm not interested in using this version, so I will click on local mode button. It will come back to the online, and I will select this other device. Okay, so okay, once we have the product and the version, the next step uh, would be. Selecting the KNX line. Basically, uh, my devices are located in the one dot one line, so I will remain that line. Okay, and till now, uh, all the information that uh, all the devices that we have here uh, is retrieved from the ETS project. Okay, so basically, we are not still connecting or communicating with the KNX installation, but now. What we will do by pressing in the scan button, it will uh, the ETS app will read the firmware uh, version of the products of the devices in the installation. Okay, basically to know if they are uh, in the installation and also if they are reachable or important from the from the KNX uh, interface or KNX programmer location because um, sometimes they they may not be included here. Okay. So let's have a look. At this moment, I have not connected devices here, but um, so it will not reach the devices. Okay, that's not the normal situation because uh, normally when you connect to the to the site, all devices will be available in the line. Okay. So basically, I will repeat the scan now. I have connected my uh, Fujitsu air conditioning interface. I have one device only. So instead of scanning both, I will only scan the first one. OK. Here we go. Uh, OK, the version is a previous version. So it tells me the update is available. And I will remain check this uh, checkbox, mark this checkbox. Okay. So basically, the last step would be uh, pressing the update button. It's very simple. It will automatically start uh, downloading the firmware. 
okay? I uh, skipped the, the download part, but uh, basically this is the view that we will have once the, the download finishes, okay? Now the version is corresponds to the download version and the status is updated, okay? So, okay, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you in next uh, videos. Bye-bye.